You guys wanna know what the worst thing about having an aftermarket exhaust system on your car? Just listen to this. the Borla S-Type Stingers on my 2008 Mustang GT with the pipes off-road H-Pipe, which means no catalytic converters. It is a straight through design. I installed it myself. Maybe I installed it incorrectly, I don't know, but as you heard, it just rattles and shakes and makes so much noise and it is very annoying. I didn't start to hear this until I made my own rear seat delete kit, which if you haven't seen already, it will pop up right there, right there. I reduced about 30 pounds by taking out my seats and replacing it with carpet. But ever since I did my rear seat delete kit, it has been been noisier than ever. Usually the seats would block out the sound and I would be good. But since it's just carpet, I hear how bad it rattles and shakes all the time. And I hate it. I want it to stop so bad. You can still hear it right now. It's shaking while I go over these bumps, make any turns or anything like that. Usually the aftermarket exhaust does that. It will shake, it will rattle, it will make noise because it was not manufactured by the actual company, in this case Ford. You may be experiencing this right now with your car. You may not know it. If you want to see if your exhaust is installed correctly, put down your seats, go over some bumps and see if it makes any noise or rattles. I did so and I could clearly hear that there is something wrong with my exhaust. I kind of already figured out the problem of my exhaust and that is is the actual fitment of the Borla S-Type Singers and the Pipes Off-Road H-Pipe. It is not clamped on too much. One of my buddies did give me the advice that they had this problem and in order to fix it, they had to spot weld the actual axle back onto the cap back so that it would not make so much noise. It's happening more in the back, so it's definitely the axle backs that are making the noise. So that is what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna go get my exhaust welded on so it could stop shaking finally. If you guys know me and have followed my channel, which if you haven't already, subscribe down below if you're new welcome to my channel you are gonna want to stay tuned for all my videos to come if you haven't already check out my channel for all the awesome cool content but getting back on track you guys know that I always do the work to my car and I hate taking it to mechanics or any shops do because they just overprice it I do not plan on being a welder so in this case I'm just gonna have to take it to a shop and do it and I actually found one in the San Diego State area that he gave me a quote for about 20 to 40 to 60 dollars depending on exactly what he does he says no more than 60 dollars and that is my price range and I'm willing to pay that to fix my exhaust because I hate the sound of the rattle and the shaking and all that. I want it to be silent. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Quick time change. We got the different outfit and we got a little beard going on. What you guys think? No Shave November? I don't know. I always do No Shave November, but I don't know if I wanna do it this year. Comment down below if I should grow this baby out. So I'm actually continuing this video a week later because I called the guy that I was gonna have to fix this and he said that he was gonna go take his kids out to trick or treating because it was Halloween. So now I finally have some free time and now I hit him up and we're ready to go. So I'm about to head off to the muffler shop, but before we do so, let's get in a cold start. Sally hasn't been fired up in three days, and boy does she sound good. I can listen to poor exhaust all day long. A few moments later. Man, look at that beauty. We're here, boy. Let's see what we can do here. Fish on you, boy. I won't. <laughs> What a bad car right here. I wish I had one of these classic ones. Dang, it, all good, dude. I know, it keeps on coming off, but. Yeah. What year? 2008. Yeah. Being too close right here, the hangar. Is like too close right there. See, the, the system. Yeah. The stainless steel stretches. Okay. Stretch yeah, that's what I was thinking. And then also, it looks like it's rubbing back and forth, like right here. 
So I'm not entirely sure if this is like clamped on correctly or tight enough. But uh, I could probably, uh, uh, yeah, well, yeah, spot well. That's what I was. One of my buddies said that that's that fixed their problem. And then also, this one seems like lower than this one, or this one seems higher than this one as well. There's not much change, you know? anything really good about that. Okay, yeah, I'm not entirely sure if it was like too close to this as well because I do see it's dented right here. That's a stock net. Okay. It's a factory. They put them on both sides. Oh, okay, for sure. Plant. So it was all loose. Dang. So we cut the hangers right there. And spot well. Both sides, just yeah. to keep them from wanting to move. Okay. I got your clearances up in between here, because right. that's one of the first things that happens is everything wants to sag. Yeah, yeah. That's why I went four around, because I, I didn't want to give the pipe any reason to, to, to sag Okay, out. sounds good. Same, same with this side. This side was really loose, but you've got plenty of clearance there, so it's not a big deal. Awesome. Yeah, it looks way I different. I couldn't go any farther back with that, because it would have been starting to hit on the axle. Okay. From what I can see right now, that's not a problem. Even when the system heats up, it's not a problem, but we don't want it to become a problem. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. And then, then the hangers are good on both sides. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. went and I, I trimmed that one back. Okay. So you've got about a finger clearance there now. Perfect. And any problem at all, let me know. For sure, if yeah. It's still rattling, we'll just chop another little piece of section off. For sure, cool. But I'd rather chop up sections and then chop off too much and then have it be a problem. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Perfect. Thank you so much. All right, so I don't know if you guys could really see in the video, but what he did was shorten one of the hangers that was possibly rubbing on the rear bumper. He also spot welded four spots on the axle back to the mid pipe, which was actually very loose from the bolt-on clamp. That's the only really bad thing about bolt-ons is that it can get loose over the time because those pipes get super hot and with it moving all around, they just fall off eventually. And that was the case for me so he spot welded the actual axle back to the mid pipe and so hopefully that will be a lot better spot welding i do recommend getting it for your car if you do have aftermarket exhaust also another thing that he did which was kind of my fault when i was installing the full axle backs is i actually had one pipe longer than the other so the right axle back was actually sticking further than the left one i wish i would have shown you a before and after picture but i'm gonna go back right now to show you guys how even they look now here's the after pick of the two axle backs sticking out of the rear they look Look better this one was sticking out a lot more than this one it was lopsided and he actually evened that up so that's another thing that we did while at the shop now let's go test it out to see if all of those things that he did actually fix the rattling and the noise problem I'm experiencing in my car all right so we are going on a test run let's see if it truly did solve the problem go over some speed bumps like we did previously and see how it performs so listen to this So there's still some noises going on even when we just performed those fixes on the axle backs. This is very strange. If you guys know what this noise could possibly be, comment down below. We did fix the really bad rattling, which I believe was the hanger rubbing on the actual rear bumper. But there's still this weird noise. Could be my nitrous system. I could have done something wrong there. It could be my pan hard bar, maybe. I don't know if that would be it. I don't know what the problem is. We did fix something. I'm happy about that. It wasn't a total waste. We did fix the really, really bad rattling and some of the sway that I was experiencing, but there is still a noise. And if you know what's happening, please comment down below. I need your help. What is this noise? So that is all I have for you guys today. We kind of fixed the problem, so we are almost there, but we still have to fix that noise in the back. Help me find a solution to this down below. All your opinions are greatly appreciated. I look over all of them, so anything will do. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think I'm going to end this story with a nice little poll to send you guys off to a wonderful day. Also, don't forget to subscribe.